Jesus and his followers went as far as Capernaum. And as soon as the Sabbath came, Jesus went to the synagogue and began to teach. And his teaching made a deep impression on them, because unlike the scribes, he taught them with authority. In their synagogue, just then there was a man possessed by an unclean spirit, and he, and he shouted, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus said sharply, Be quiet, come out of him. And the unclean spirit threw the man into convulsions and with a loud cry went out of him. The people were so astonished that they started asking each other what it all meant. Here is a teaching that is new, they said, and with authority behind it. He gives orders even to unclean spirits and they obey him. And his reputation rapidly spread everywhere through all the surrounding Galilean countryside. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be your Jesus Christ. When talking about authority, my late dad has a different approach when it comes to authority. He never uses the cane, he never uses the belt, he never uses stick, broom, or using words, or even the, what you call that, the ruler. He only uses his eyes. The bigger, when it's open, bigger, then we, the three brothers, the three of us, the little rascals at that time, we know our place, how to be, how to act, and then how to behave. You know, each, each father has got different kind of authorities. So my father is the I. And I used to, there is a seminarian that was with me in Rome, and we used to joke on our formator when he is at the sanctuary. He has the eyes of Sauron, you know, the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, always keeping a look on us to make sure that all seminarians are behaving ourselves. So that's what we always joke about. But if you look at our gospel today, now, now people are very impressed with Jesus because his teaching is very informative, his advice is good, his direction in life for us is also good as well. But he teaches with authority. Now, what does that mean? It means, I speak. You listen and follow for your own good. Let's be straightforward with his teaching. That's what we need to do. Because his teachings make sure that it makes sense for all of us, and then we pick up what is essential for our lives. Because his teaching is all about a direction, a lead, a moving forward without turning back to look at the past. Because we don't want to do that. We need to keep on moving forward. But put this in our mind. Now Jesus don't only teach with authority. That means this is this, this is that. In his teaching, there's always love and compassion for the people, care, forgiveness, looking out for one another, because he keeps on looking out for every one of us. Because his teaching is supported by his Father and also supported by his disciples. We need to live out what he taught us. His teachings are all guidelines for us to follow God faithfully. And if we live out that teaching, then I'm going to say to all of us, including myself, that salvation 
rightly belongs to us because we own that salvation because we are the ones who decided to be Catholics we are the ones who decided to follow Christ so that salvation belongs to us so when Jesus teaches with authority now the reality is sometimes it's hard to practice am I right okay I give you an example but before that we need to know that Jesus practices what he preaches example he will tell us to love your enemies forgive them so what did he do on the cross he forgave the people so he preaches he practices what he preaches so we need to do that are we practicing of what we are preaching to the people of today even to our own family members or to those in church and if we have done that how effective it is that we have done it remember authority has its place but authority need to guide us to be better Christians <laughs>